I will remove the night vision as soon as I take care of this guy. Good gravy. What the hell is this guy doing? He's breakdancing. <laughs> go, 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 go. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy came in, and in this episode, we're going to go out and thump some zombo heads, uh, see if we can get some more research data. Um, but before we do that, I had a comment asking, is it possible to paint sinks and toilets? I don't think so, but let's try it. Nope, but we can <laughs> we can paint the, uh, the wall behind the toilet, which is not kind of what I wanted to do. Okay, so let's grab this, and we have confirmed that. Didn't think we could. Um, it sounds like everybody that did comment on the idea of me turning this central room into our armory was favorable, uh, and one or two of you uh, liked the idea of, you know, this making this area into uh, like an office area here. Um, there was even mention of a hot tub. So what we could do is we could take the bed, we could tear all this crap out over here, put the bed in this corner, and then, you know, uh, dig out a little hot tub area here. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I kind of like the bed up on this platform, though, looking out over the the window. So we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. I mean, the other thing to keep in mind, too, is we have, <laughs> we have this entire floor. I mean, we still got a lot of work to do you know, to fix it up on this side, but uh, we do have the entire floor. Now, another thing I've thought about is, let's go across the way here. Um, this is actually kind of a neat, oh, you know what? We could put the hot tub in here. This, we, we could turn this like into the, into the, to the rec room or the exercise spa area. <laughs> <laughs> we could we could put the hot tub up on this platform. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and we could put a weight set in here and a treadmill. This could be our 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 exercise area, our gym. I like that idea. That just came to me. <laughs> okay, so we'll uh we'll think about that. We'll think about that. Anyway, uh let's make sure we are uh well supplied here. Uh speaking of which our supplies currently, where, where are all my tools? Uh, they're currently in here. Not gonna necessarily stay in here, but that's where they are at the moment. So, yeah, it looks like I got some stuff to put away and I gotta redo my toolbar with, you know, the normal stuff because I've got a bunch of things in here that I normally carry with me. So let me get all that sorted. And then we're going to head on out and go find a, a new POI, one that I haven't been through yet. And just, you know, smash some zombie heads, look for research data. Okay, so I'll see you guys down on the ground. All right, guys, uh, we are back here. Have I been in these places? I don't know. I mean, I, I drive by them so many times. Um, and it looks like we have some books over here. Uh, nope. We've already looted this. Okay. We've already looted this. Um, Diamond Men's Club and Dude Bros. Okay, yeah, let's check this place out. Like I said, I can't remember for sure if I've been in here or not. Um, that garbage is empty, so maybe we have. Maybe I came in here before the apocalypse. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't frequent these types of places. Uh, my, my wife wouldn't approve. <laughs> but if you do, no judgment, man. No judgment. All right. I wondered if there might be a safe behind the wall. Um, okay, so... I don't think we get, yeah, we didn't get all the way down on that pick. Oh, you know what? We have points to spend. We need to look at that. I think we're working on stuff in the perception tree. You know what I might do, though? Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, iron spare and two hundred twelve dollars of cash. Um, I was thinking about here. Let's let's just look at those now. I know it's almost nighttime too, so yeah, that's just gonna make things even more exciting and probably get me killed. So what else is new, right? Uh, we have four points to spend. My goodness. Okay. You know what I was thinking is since fairly soon we're going to start working on our farm. I was thinking of getting living off the land maxed out. <clears throat> what does this require? That requires perception five. Because we're going to get, you know, three items. Plus I am going to have to craft a bunch more farm plots. Not that I really care about that so much. So let's just get that done. Okay. Now we're going to get a lot of food from the farm and stuff that we you know do outside plus we still have two more points so uh let's see that's as high as it can go at the moment we could put something in archery uh what is this lucky looter yeah let's put a point in lucky looter and huntsman uh, we got so much meat i, I don't really I, i've never found this to be it, I, I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not going to say it's not useful. It's just not needed. <laughs> it might be really helpful at the very early game, but, you know, I don't know. I, I That's just my own opinion. You guys might disagree, and that's fine. But, you know, yeah, let's let's go ahead and pump up archery, too. Okay, there we go. Good. So um, I want to get <clears throat> Deadeye and Penetrator and Lucky. Uh, we already got Living Off the Land. Yeah, we just did that, right? Okay, and Lucky maxed out. Uh, at some point, or at least to level four. So, excuse me, we'll start, we'll probably continue pumping perception itself. Um, that would require seven. This one pr probably requires seven. This requires eight. And this requires seven. Yeah, so we're going to just keep pumping perception to, to get that, that stuff up pretty high. Uh, because <clears throat> I just really like those skills. I think they're super useful. All right. Anyway, let's continue on here. Are there no zombos in here? Master, we are not Careful alive. what you ask for. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a stripper in the gentleman's club. There's two strippers in the gentleman's club. There's three strippers. And an army guy. <laughs> oh, I love it when things just kind of work out the way you expect them to. <laughs> Oh, for Pete's sake. I was I was going to maybe make a joke about, you know, three strippers. But no, we're, we're not going to do that. <laughs> this is a family-friendly, well, sort of. If, if you call... Oh, shit. That scared me. If you call smashing uh, mutilated and rotten corpses with a sledgehammer and, and their head popping a family-friendly, which I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Some people pop... They might define it that way, but others probably wouldn't. Oh, man. Okay, let's grab this. And we got a back room with a crack, a book. Um, We can only wear one of these, and do we already have one? Yes. So, I don't see the point in learning this. Let's scrap it for the research data. I just don't see the point, man. There we go. Um, robots and stumpatons degrade 20% slower. That's useful. We will scrap that. And look at that. We got 15 wire relays. Nice. We, uh, we'll put those to use for sure. Let's get the paper from here and now uh, I'm not gonna I think that just goes outside I'm, I'm not going to mess with the the boxes there nothing in here okay can we pick up exit signs Ooh, we can might uh, have a use for those um Okay, I think, are we done downstairs? We've gone in every room. Yeah, we were in there. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, 
Let's go upstairs. You know what? If we're gonna be out being sneaky sneaky at night, I should really go get my oh here's a here's a whole microwave. Okay, we're gonna grab this for our kitchen. Excellent. I should grab my night vision goggles. I left them back at the ranch. Ooh, I want this too. Okay. So, you know what? Um, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go grab the night vision goggles since our, our base is just right across the way. I've got a bad feeling about this. Not as bad as he has. Okay, let me be the first to tell you guys that this is a bad idea. I know this is a bad idea. We're going to try it anyway. And, uh, you know, what's the worst that can happen, right? Well, we know what the worst that can happen is. Uh, let's put these on. Uh, those take the place of luckies. Okay. And then we want to enable night vision. And we want to crouch and be as quiet as possible. You know what? You're probably not going to help us be as quiet as possible. You know where I'll be if you need me. Okay. So remember, I have feral sense on. So that's really not going to work in our favor. But let's just try it and see what happens. Why did I have to say what's the worst that can happen? Oh, oh, sneaking skill. Oh, look. We got a victim in there. I think that's a nurse Nancy. It's kind of hard to tell with the all the green on. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. This must be the... Uh... Oh, this is one of those rooms. <laughs> What's And it's got a nurse in it. Gotcha. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> Do we have the thing where if we sneak over trash, it doesn't make noise? Let's find out. Yeah, we do. Okay. Is there another nurse in here? Oh, there's something up in that crate there. Shh. There's no way I'm going to be able to open this without... Oh, hold on. Look at that. We can get into the sports. Oh, nice stuff, too. Uh, let's just drink this right now. I'm not wearing the proper armor for sneaking. But having our light turned off and having 33 points in sneak is definitely helping. Okay, we gotta... I think that's a zombie head. Actually, what is that? I can't tell. Here. Oh, it's that guy. Shit. Okay, stay behind the, the pillar from the copper ruski. Dude, pillar. Oh, not good. I was trying to avoid using the M60 because that's going to bring everybody and their dog to us. Can we get... That guy was just a little bit too tough, though. Let's get over here. All right. Come on, big boy.
Wow, I, I got to tell you, <laughs> I'm surprised we're not getting rushed with Feral Sedson in, in the wasteland. What's that? Oh, it's just a scrap pistol. Okay. I got me an idea. Um, let's get rid of this. And then we have a place that we can kind of retreat to a little bit. If we get uh, overrun. See, we've already getting the attention of some people out on the street. Um, this needs to go too. Otherwise, they'll just jump right on over here. Okay. I Is she going to try and jump that gap? I don't think that explosion would have made it up here, but uh, in in Seven Days to Die, at least in the vanilla game, and I think probably in all mods, explosion radiuses are up to five blocks. But we might have been right at the bottom of it. Okay, let's go back here. That leads up to the roof. We got the couches up here. <laughs> Sit down. Arlene, what are you doing in this place? You're too young for this place. Actually, Arlene could be could be 40 years old and she's just short. And wears uh little girl dresses. Well, sort of kind of little girl dress. Okay, here is where they all come here. Can't get to me, can you suckers? Ooh. Can they jump from up there? Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> Hold that head still. All right. Uh, let's take one of these. Spidey's coming over. Oh, maybe not. There's a feral burner, dude. No, you don't. Here, jump up on a thing so I can get to you. Oh, he's got like one tiny sliver of health left. Not now. I think there's dudes behind there. There's some dudes behind there too. Hey, that was rude. No, I don't want to see you pole dance, zombie cop. No, thank you. Oh, he's going to blow up. Take care of some of the rest of those guys for us. There's still another copper ruski down there. Oh, you know what? That's what we need to be doing here. out of here of course now, <laughs> now we've alerted every zombie in the city in fact you know what there isn't much point in having uh and having our uh oh did i still have my my light on too i think i think i maybe i did that wasn't very smart
Come on, you guys. We're supposed to be trying to get uh, research data, and you're you're preventing me from doing that. Not fair. Well, the cop took care of some of them too. We got spider monkeys. That one's almost dead. Okay. Let's send some more explosive love their way. Nice. Somebody's trying to break through a wall over here, I think. You want some? Right in the noggin. This is almost like a horde night, man. The thing is, is if you kind of think of these zombies, and they all got pulled in from Feral Sense, Almost like a little horde or a wave. Once I kill them all, will things calm down, or is the game just going to keep throwing these dudes at me? Uh, I'm not sure about. Let's go over here. That guy's... Okay, we finally got him. Big mama. They can't quite get up here because I'm in the way. <laughs> That's funny when Big Mama jumps. Oh man, I, they keep jumping right as I pull the trigger. Uh oh! We got a screamy now. That's what we call an escalation, ladies and gentlemen. Well, so much for uh, things calming down. Ow! Let's go back over here. I think, uh... I think we've worn out our welcome here. I don't have really enough supplies to sustain this. What's going to happen is I'm going to keep killing them. Screamers are going to keep calling in new zombos. I'm going to eventually run out of ammo. And then it's we're still going to be effed. <laughs> so, um, I think it's time to make a, a retreat. See you, suckers. Oh, get on the bike. On the bike. Why am I not getting on the bike? I can't get on the bike. I'm not getting on the bike. Oh, shit. What the hell? Run. Screw the bike. <laughs> Good gravy. That was bad. It wasn't letting me get on the bike. It finally did at the very end, but then I was, you know, mashing the button and then I dismounted it again. Are they following us? The spider monkey following us? I hear a dog. Oh man, I'm so far away they don't even know that I'm here. All right, let's go back to, um, well, here. First of all, let's turn this off. I think I still had that on the whole time when I had the night vision on. Uh, let's wear this. 
Okay, that's a little better. Make sure everybody's loaded here. You know what? I think I stopped this before it was... Yep. <clears throat> that miss <clears throat> seriously dude wow okay I guess we do have some stealth skills we might at some point switch to a stealth build and just mess around with it you know do a mind wipe thingy um, I have, uh, I, I like to kind of mess around with that in the end game when I get to the end game and we have tons of money so we can afford the stuff, you know, the forget elixir. But at this point, at least, you know, in terms of our armor and my chosen weapons, we're really more of a tank and spank kind of guy. All right. So let's just see if we can... Yeah. Feral sense. Actually, we're not really a tank and spank. We're a sledge and spank. Spank with the sledge. That's what we are. Okay. I'm going to slowly work my way back to the motorcycle. And we'll see if we can just do some snipe-a-doodling along the way. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Okay. That got everybody's attention. I'm going to pop another one of these. <laughs> All right. Come on. You and me, officer. He did. Those guys were like right on me, man. I think we might, we probably killed all the other ones. So the caught, we didn't get the caught. All right, back to here. I hear footsteps over there, and then we got this guy right there. Most of these, well, I don't know about most, but a very large percentage of these zombies are feral, so, you know, much harder to kill. All right, let's get back around this way. So far, so good. You know there's going to be a whole mess of Zeeks around the stripper club, though. Wasn't sure if that was a Zikarua down there or not. I don't think those guys will despawn, will they? I'm not hearing them. Okay, we'll just stay nice and quiet. We're not in a hurry. You know what? I think this is... Yeah, no, they're in there. I think this is the first time that I've managed to... do anything uh, at night here in the Wasteland in this series. I mean, usually when I try and do stuff at night, I get killed. <laughs> so... And that still could happen. Absolutely could still happen. Um, I definitely heard a... S yeah, I hear a Screeby in there. If we can eliminate her... 
It's just possible. I don't know why I couldn't get on that damn thing. We might want to reload this if we're planning on using it. It's just possible that we could resume. Where is she at? I only hear her. She might be upstairs. Sounds like she's up in that area. And she's she senses something, but she, I don't think she knows exactly where we are. She'd be screaming. Okay, let's go back around this way. Crap, is that a real scream? I don't think it registered. Is it just you? Colonel Ronnie McDonny? Okay. I don't think her scream registered, so. Okay. Um, let's try this again. I <laughs> gotta be honest with you. I'm surprised. I'm surprised A, we didn't get killed and B, that we actually, I hear a footstep, made it back to continue on. Okay. We just got to stay quiet though, as much as possible. Go around to the other side and then go up on the roof so we can finish the POI. We need to, <clears throat> excuse me, we need to finish what we started. Oh, look at that. Big old chandelier in there. There's a bad guy, too. Do we already look in here? I think so. Well, if there was something in there, it would have woken up a long time ago anyway. All right, so let's head on up to the roof here. Oh, they just broke out that stage. It's already 3 o'clock in the morning and we're still alive. Can you believe that? A miracle. Okay, that wasn't good. So much for being really quiet. We're just going to take a quick look around. Oh, shit. Big mama. Oh, shit. Ow! Big mama. Rude. Hey, look, there's a bird's nest. Oh, I guess we're not getting it. <laughs> All right, I, th I think we pushed our luck enough, you guys. Um, unless we can get him to come down off the roof and we can s take him out, snipe a doodle him. There's a ball sack right there. He doesn't know where we are, though. Using the silenced weapon because I don't want to wake everybody and their dog up.
Look at him juking, man. What a tough mother. Look at the abuse this guy's taking. Oh, man. We're out of stamina. All right, time to get loud. Good gravy. Uh, let's take one of these. Let's take one of these. And let's take one of these. Uh, you know what? Actually, we didn't really need to take a mineral water. Okay, so I hear a bunch of Zeeks banging on stuff. There's a big mama way over there. She's feral, so she's tough as hell. Okay. It's almost morning. And then at least feral sense will go away. Three fifty-five. I want to, <clears throat> since since it's daytime, or just about, anyway. Oh. Now it's daytime. I will remove the night vision as soon as I take care of this guy. Good gravy. What the hell is this guy doing? He's breakdancing. <laughs> go, 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 go. That's hilarious, man. Um, okay. So Let's, uh, yeah, let's get rid of this. Hey, look at that. Creepy crawly. Uh, turn those off and put these back on. Okay, let's run upstairs and look around real quick before we wrap up the episode. We survived the night. Unbelievable. Hey, there's the thingy. Uh, okay, yep. Decent stuff for the most part. Probably most of the sleepies that were up here have a respawn because we didn't really kill any of them to speak of. But at least, you know, we don't... Oh, man. That guy is all over the place. At least we don't have, um, you are just unbelievably tough. Good gravy. It's going to make me expend all of my ammo. All right. Is there anything up here? Nothing apparent. Oh, you know what? There was that bird's nest down on the awning here. There's an egg. I don't think we can get up here, can we? Oh. Look at that. We, uh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> I got stuck there for a second. You know what? I want to move my land claim block. If we moved it diagonally uh, to the southeast that would probably put it right in the center because it's just bugging me that it's you know offset a little bit doesn't matter in term in, term, in a practical sense everything's fine but it's an aesthetic thing you know what I'm saying so at some point I want to move that I wonder if we if we do move it though if it's gonna oh lord 
Lord Almighty. This calls for some explosives. Of course it didn't kill rapacious Big Mama. Alright. Check the trash. They're all dead. There's... What else is up here? Oh, okay, so this stairwell go leads down into the next POI. I uh, gotcha. I wonder, do these things collapse? No, they don't appear to. This leads down into Dude Bros. Tell you what. You guys get... A bonus long episode. We're just going to keep going all the way through this till we get to the end. And I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> Ooh. That is... Who is that? Oh, it's Ballsack. Oh, shit! Another ball sack! There's a couple charges in there. Alright, give us some research data, baby. Oh, we'll take a book, too. Books are good. Nothing behind there. Uh, we get a little research data from this. Repair before picking up? Uh, I don't think so. That's... That's just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. All right, what we're going to do is we're there's two charges in there, right? Oh, look at that. We have two two plastic bottles. Yeah, we're going to do we're going to do a bit longer episode this time. And uh because I just want I don't this is kind of a bad place to stop, you know, that's what it really boils down to. Let's just get through the rest of this POI. Uh, okay, so there's more boxes there. And that way we can also hit the end loot and be disappointed. I mean, uh, you know, maybe find something good. There it is right down there. Nice. Nothing behind there. There's probably going to be a Zeke behind that bar. You know what? I should actually probably be picking those cool posters up and we can use them to decorate our house rather than breaking them. It's just, yep, see, look at that. It's just a habit, you know? Uh, so we've got a white and an irradiated janitor. An irradiated lumberjack? That can't be good. He spit on that guy. Okay, let's uh, let's take another painkiller, and we will counteract its thirst-inducing effect with the mineral water. Yeah, you know what? Let's start picking these up because we can use them to decorate as fun as it is to break the glass you know uh did those yeah okay those go in as their own poster as opposed to like a single block that we can you know select the poster from that's the strip club that we just came from dance party is this, um, was this one of the uh, original, like, Alpha 17 POIs that they redid, or is this a new POI? I don't know. It doesn't look familiar to me. Oh, that was good loot. New Delight. We 
could take that apart, but I don't think I'm going to. All right. There's no way we're going to be able to just walk up on that stage and take that loot without getting rushed. So let me make sure everything is fully loaded. You're loaded. You're loaded. Um, I... Yeah, okay. Question is, they're probably going to come out of there. Don't know where else they would come from unless there's some place back behind the stage. Is that a Zombo in there? No, I think that's just a, a toity. Kind of looked like a Zombo laying down. Oh, there's a Zombo. So, we got some Zeeks down here. Any chance we can take them out without waking everybody up? Let's go for this guy first. Nice. Very nice. You know, I should probably start carrying around the sniper candy. Sneaky, the sneaky sneak stuff. All right. Just got the attention of two, looks like normal Zikaroos. Oh, here they come. I knew it. I knew we weren't going to just be able to walk in here and take the... Oh, they were all hiding back here. Gotcha. Okay. Come to Papa. That takes care of them all. We are infected, and we have one honey for that, but I've got lots of antibiotics back at the base, so I'm not too worried about it. We have an abrasion, but let's... I don't, I don't want to burn another one of these, so let's just take a health bar. And, uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, I think that's it for the Zeeks. We got an office in here, and that opened up a door. Three charges. Beautiful. More sewing kits. I'll always take those. Take that for research data. Is there a safe in here? Can we pick these up? Oh, we can. Well, <laughs> we got to repair it. Um, I might have stuff to repair that, actually. I don't know what it requires. Nice. Yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, for decoration stuff, like, like we're gonna, we're gonna set up an office, so having a bulletin board in the office would be appropriate. I'm just looking around before we get, get to the main loot, see if there's anything else worth grabbing. Nope, that is not a usable thing. Is that loot pick upable? It isn't. I'll bet you the ones though that we can put stuff inside of are. Do we have a, a medicine cabinet in our in our bathroom? I don't remember. No, we got that big ugly mare. That's what we have in there. Right, okay. Back room where everybody takes their money. Yeah. Okay. And just one more bathroom here. Ah, with something hiding behind the door. A bone! That was worth doing. Okay, I think we're ready to get the fat loots. Um, I don't have any eye candy on me, do I? No, but we do have Lucky's on, and we put another point in Lucky Looter. A peacekeeper, a purple peacekeeper shotgun. And a fireman's blade. Purple. 
fireman's blade. Um, this does 182 damage. Nah, it's it's not as good as our A level pump. It's a nice weapon though. Very nice loot. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, let's break these guys open. Serrated blade. I think we have multiples of those. I'd rather get the research data. There's some research data. We still have um, multiple items. Well, not multiple items. We still have a few things that we need to upgrade and make with the research data, but then when we up update to the new version, then that's going to open up a whole bunch more items that will need to be upgraded. Okay, let's get a jailbreaker. We're lockpicking level 98. Wow. Almost there, guys. I love the lock picking in Undead Legacy. I think there's another mod. It might be the. Uh, is it? Uh, is there a mod called Oblivion or something like that? I think there is, right? And I think that the lock picking in Oblivion is like this too. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible, but slightly anticlimactic there all right you guys we have done it we've gone through some new pois that i i myself anyways haven't seen and we didn't get any super super awesome loot but we had fun we killed zombies we got research data and the most important thing is i didn't get killed i know it's amazing isn't it i'm gonna let you guys go here uh we will probably just get back to working on uh the deshong tower uh, on our base in the next episode and again as usual i'll just you know, I'll split things up so we're not doing a, a lot of the same thing in each episode. And that way we can keep things interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.